This is FRDR, the Federated Research Data Repository for Canada, developed through a partnership between the Canadian Association of Research Libraries, CARL, and Compute Canada. This video, based in June 2017, shows FRDR in a beta version, still being tested and refined. FRDR is scheduled for release in early 2018. FRDR is a place for Canadian researchers to deposit and share their data, as well as a central hub to discover Canadian research data currently stored across many repositories. By making it easier for researchers to discover, store, preserve, share, and reuse data, FRDR helps to ensure that the data collected today will benefit Canadians for years to come. It is intended to complement existing data repositories. Canadian research granting agencies, such as the TRI agencies, have published their intention to soon require that the research data generated and underlying research papers be made publicly available. FRDR is being developed to be a repository service for Canadian researchers to publish their data at a national scale. Researchers interact with FRDR to either deposit their data sets or search for data sets. To start a search for data, simply type search terms into the search box. No login required. FRDR helps researchers find data deposited into other data repositories in Canada by collecting, indexing, and federating public metadata records in a single location. For each item in the search result, you can see the title of the data set, the repository in which the data set resides, the author, and the publication date. Clicking on the source repository takes you to the repository's homepage. Clicking on the item title takes you to the landing page for that item in the appropriate repository. There you can find the full metadata record for that data set and can learn how to access or download the data set. Accessing and downloading a data set held in a repository other than FRDR are managed entirely by that other repository. On the right side of the search results page are options for changing the way the page is displayed and for saving items in the search results into a temporary stash. The stash list can be printed or downloaded for use later. In the left margin of the search results page are facets that let you refine searches using common parameters, such as date of publication for the data set, keywords supplied with the metadata, or the source repository. Facets appear or change based on the particular results of a search. More advanced search options are also available. Accessing an FRDR data. Clicking on the title of a data set that has been deposited in FRDR takes you to the landing page for that data set, where you can see details about the publication license that applies to the data set, the full metadata record that has been entered for this data set, the digital object identifier or handle at which the data set should always be located, as well as suggestions for how to cite this data set to give credit to the researchers who collected and published it. And of course, the landing page provides access to the files that make up this data set. Because FRDR was designed for very large data sets, downloading a dating data set with your browser may not be feasible. FRDR makes extensive use of services from Globus, a partnership between the University of Chicago and Argonne National Lab Laboratory. Globus Connect is already used widely across Canada, including Compute Canada, and around the world for quickly and reliably transferring large data sets. It is also freely available to individuals to install. Downloading a data set with Globus Connect transfers the data set from one Connect endpoint 
to the Globus Connect endpoint running on your computer. Select some or all of your files in the dataset, then initiate the transfer. Globus Connect transfers in the background. In order to deposit data, you will need to first log into FRDR. FRTR uses services from Globus to perform authentication and authorization. It is easy to get a Globus identity. You can even link your existing ORCID, Google, or Compute Canada account. You also need to be granted permission before you can deposit to FRDR. This helps to ensure the quality of the data set in FRDR. For beta testing, just send us an email to let us know your Globus ID. Once you've logged in, you'll see your data publication dashboard. Click on the button to submit a new data set. You will see a choice of collections into which you have permission to deposit. You click to agree with the FRDR Terms of Service and to attach a data publication license to your data set. These are the rules for using your data. Then you need to enter the data, the data that describes your data set. This can either be typed into the forms or can be read in as an input file. These fields, title, author, publication date, and publisher are required and related to the data site rather than any journal paper. After the required metadata field, there are more optional fields. The more complete the metadata, the more discoverable and reusable the data set will be. If known, include the unique identifier for any related publications. You can indicate that a data set should not be made public, but kept private or embargoed for a short period of time. Embargoed data will still be discoverable through search, but not openly available for download. Now, now it is time to transfer the FRDR, all the files that, you, that make up this data set. You must use Globus Connect software to transfer files to FRDR. Many institutions already run Globus Connect for transferring files. As previously mentioned, it is also freely available to individuals to install. Globus Connect transfers files from a source endpoint running on your computer to a destination endpoint running on FRDR. You would specify the source endpoint where your data is located. We'll use a test endpoint. Select the files on your endpoint that are needed to complete the data set, and then initiate the transfer. Globus Connect transfers in the background, so we can exit the Globus Connect transfer page. Review the metadata and the data files and make corrections as necessary. Your submission gets queued for Curator to review. Once approved, your data set is in FRDR, gets indexed, and made publicly available with its unique identifier.
You won't see it, but in the background, your data set is sent off for preservation processing using Archivematica software. This processing will make a copy for safekeeping and may also change the format of some files to format the archivist will remain readable for a longer period of time. When the FRDR service launches early in 2018, CARL will offer services for researchers that will include support, training, and consultants to provide advice and guidance to researchers with data management planning and with locating data sets. The FRDR application is currently in beta testing in mid-2017. The feedback from testers will be used to refine the application prior to its release in early 2018.